Boston Mass this evening. We're at historic Fenway Park. It'll be Diamond Dynasty action this evening between California and Massachusetts. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one. It's one of baseball's hardest throwers. Goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next. And now, Jordan Groshans. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here it comes. Jordan Groshans. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Swing and a miss one for one. strike one. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. A ball and two strikes now. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw to first is in time for the first out. One out, base is empty. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Dominguez is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And here comes the babe. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Here now is Trey Turner. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second base. Here's the pitch. Oh, Four one. Cool. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it Do doesn't it quite catch the bottom of the zone. Line drive to left. A dive, but it's off his glove. The throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. Here's Byron Buxton now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. So next to hit is Jason Dominguez. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here's the pitch. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Popped him up. Groshans has a play. And that will end the inning. Second inning set to go. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. And that swung on and missed for strike one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Just a touch outside. One and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. J.D. Martinez goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Brandon Crawford is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 
The one two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three. And there are two away. First offering. Ryan Mountcastle stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Behind 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. And they try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. in the box. Joe Torrey set to lead off the home half of the second. Now the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So now to the plate, Jordan Groshans. As he'll go after a curveball out of the zone to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Line to the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. Now at the plate, Jim Tomey. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. From the belt, kicks and deals. As he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. Torrey, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. This is pulled into right. Martinez is there, two down. And he scurries back to first base safely. Digging in will be Dante Bichette. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. Check swing there. They'll appeal down to Gary Simmons. And it'll be strike one as he signals he wasn't able to hold up. The 0 1 pitch. This one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he chased it in the dirt. Casale finishes it off with the tag to end the inning. in is Kirk Casale, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0-1. Smoke toward third. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next to hit, Ramon Laureano. First pitch of the A.B. now. Boy, not the way he wanted to start oh out here. It's 0-1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. Nope. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. A swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Next up is Freddy Peralta. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Strike taken up in the zone. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Down the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Now to the plate here is Ernie Banks as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Not shortstop. First offering. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Banks 
is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces there's a lot of pop in that bat. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. So the next to bat will be Edward Cabrera ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next, it'll be Trey Turner. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. 1-1. One, one. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Wave dad and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Ready now is Jordan Groshans. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Behind 0-2 now. Now a sinker one runs ball. in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Well, when you're behind 0-2 as a hitter, you're in swing mode. Nothing changes that like seeing something hard bearing in on you, though. Swung on and missed. Really yeah, fooled him that time for the first out. Yeah, Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Pitch on the way. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. To the plate now. Babe Ruth pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And he will hustle back to first as he thinks better of trying to move up. At the plate now is J.D. Martinez, struck out in his first at bat. And so he'll take a look at ball one. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, here is Byron Buxton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the first pitch. Line drive to center field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. Buxton takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. At the plate, Jason Dominguez. Drilled right back up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Into the box, Joe Torre. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Martinez has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. 
next, here is Jordan Groshan. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. He swings and misses. Throw down. The tag from Crawford, and they got him at second base. Two out, nobody on. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, doubled up on the slider away there. Got him to go after it before, so why not see if he'll offer at it again? Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Brandon Crawford digging in next. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And a sinker One dips out. too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's a high pop-up. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch coming. Here it is. That's a ball. Low for ball one. Count one out, one nobody on. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on He's first out. for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping in once again is Kirk Casale. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's... And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. And that'll bring in Ramon Moriano. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Runner in scoring position with two gone. This one's down to third. Scooped up. And nothing will come of a two-out double as the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Jim Tomey. The first baseman. Now here's the pitch. Oh, that's out. Now a ball and a strike. Again, another foul ball. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. At the plate now. Dante Bichette high in the air down the right field line. Martinez is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 nothing game. Next to dig in, Bernie Banks. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Sacrifice situation here, and the manager wisely brings his third baseman in to try and cut down the lead runner if it comes his way. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. He's running. But now, wait a minute. They're going to get an out on the play. Popped up. He's going to get to this thing on the run, and a fine play there will end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next will be the pitcher, Freddie Peralta.
Gary Sanchez will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Now the first pitch. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jordan Groshans. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Buxton falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. And out of the plate, Jesse Winker. A fly out and a single for him so far. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here. Middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Right to him, and he is out on the tag. Yes. Sergio Romo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. And speedy Trey Turner digs in now. The second baseman. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and another foul ball. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Byron Buxton. You remember he motored around the diamond for an inside the park home run last at bat. Owen won the count. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. On the lands down and gone. Into the box now, Jason Dominguez hits softly down the line at first. Throw beats him by a half a step. He almost beat that out. So now into the box is Joe Torre. One for two in the ball game thus far. He swings and lines it to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll. And here comes the first baseman, Babe Ruth. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Let's so watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. No hits to this point. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. And the run will score from second as it's back to just a two-run ball game now. Stepping in now, Brandon Crawford. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Here's the 0-1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot, time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Okay, okay. 
So now to the plate, Ryan Mountcastle. As he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Sacrifice attempt here, and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. So stepping in is Kirk Casale, trying here to plate the tying run from second. This will come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Pro gets him, two down. Now to bat, Ramon Laureano. The base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Nowhere to go as he's tagged out between third and home. So now to the plate, Jordan Groshans. He bounced out last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. A 1 0 delivery. One ball, one strike to count. 1-1 one, one home. Taken. Yeah. Strike two. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. But not to worry as the catcher simply applies the tag here for the first down. That brings up Jim Tomey. He's one for two in this one. Hit out towards second. Crawford fields it cleanly. And that's the second out. Into the box, Dante Bichette drove in a run with a sack fly last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. And it's a ball and a strike to Bichette. Swing and a line drive. That gets down, and the inning continues. At the plate, Ernie Banks. Ernie. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Pickoff move to second. He'll get back in safely. To the plate now, Edward Cabrera. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Throw over to the bag. And he just manages to get his hand in. And again a throw. Jordan Alvarez will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Crawford dives. What a stop. How about that? Dennis Eckersley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So here is Ramon Laureano. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the A.B. now. Whoa, that's down. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Fouled away. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout, quickly one away. Kevin Kiermeyer will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 
ground ball right side. He gets dirty but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Into the box Jordan Groshans. It's outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Packers Lee comes set. Here it is on 1 0. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there. At the plate now, Jesse Winker has the first pitch to him. He swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Just don't understand the game plan. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Here comes the one two. And this one gets away. And the run will score on the wild pitch. My goodness. One out and a runner on third. Little chopper back to the mound. Tag and they nail it at home plate as the tying run is prevented from scoring. Digging in next, Babe Ruth is ready. Here's the first pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Winker leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. In the dirt, and now let's see. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Swung on and missed. One and two now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on. Oh, and he botches it. Here's J.D. Martinez. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss Three over the harder okay. plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. High in the air down the right field line. Dominguez gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Leclerc is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So the lineup flips over and digging in Trey Turner. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Swung on and missed, it's 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off, it's 1 and 1. Fouled off. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Pissano reaches out and tags him to make it official, and there's one away. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. And he lays off for ball one. The Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Leclerc is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Jason Dominguez stands in as he looks at a cold strike. And it's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Stepping in now, Joe Torrey. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. A runner on first with two away. And it's fouled away. Now a throw over to first. Runner back safely. A 
swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman Brandon Crawford. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Buxton is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Next to stand in is Ryan Mountcastle who dropped the sacrifice bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. Eckersley gets the sign. Here's the 0 1. Nope, Awfully close with the slider there but it's one and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Now a swinging bunt. Count still at one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next, Kirk Casale grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. It's anybody's guess what will happen when two teams clash in Diamond Dynasty. So we get a 1 1 contest here, offering just about everything you want in a game of baseball. 3 to 2, the finish in tonight's game. Massachusetts took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Edward Cabrera earns the victory on the mound. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Blizak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com.